this is NJU host on this channel. So we have finally reached the last part of our discussion on the sunline. So a quick recap of all what we have studied so far. What does sunline represent? Sunline tells about your intelligence. Sunline tells about your personal magnetism. How much you have the potential to attract goodness in your life in the form of opportunities, good friends, good advisors, good counselors. Sunline also tells about the brilliant aspect of your personality. How perfectionist you are, whatsoever field you are working, how you are perceived in this world. Sunline also tells about your cheerfulness, your optimism. And this line also tells about the success quotient, which we have discussed in the the last videos that whatsoever efforts you are indulging in and let's say at that point of time if you will age the lines and you will age the major lines of the hand and at that point of time sunline is an immaculate in an unafflicted state so this is just going to increase the success quotient and the outcome you know in the form of a good success into your life so we have discussed all of that and you know i have also explained to you people that the original uh, you know setup of an individual's personality is get uh, we get to know by studying three major lines so these three major lines which are the heart line the headline and the lifeline are known as the three major lines and these three lines the line of saturn the line of sun and the line of mercury these three lines are known as the secondary lines or the minor lines so we have three major lines and we have three minor lines so you know the absence of any of the three minor lines the line of saturn the sun line and the line of mercury is not bad the only condition is either they should be present in the palm or they should be absent but if they are present and then they are in a negative state or a defective or a afflicted state then that is going to pose problem in your life so we have discussed all of that and you know in the last video i have discussed a lot of defects and you know all those kind of you know um, uh, consequences which an individual can expect into his life so once again let me tell you people when it comes to palmistry it is a science which connects you with your talents this which proves that nothing in this life is uh, uh, certain like like something as your destiny carved in the stone we create our own destiny when it comes to you know decoding the predictions and the outcomes you need to understand that the palm lines tells about the possibility of the happening of the event only if the you know present path is continued so let's say for example someone who is a like very um, you know very uh, extreme alcoholic or someone who has got a habit of you know junk food eating or you know binge eating so let's say at any point of time uh, some ominous or some negative sign has appeared on his palm so that sign has got the significance only till the time the person is going to continue the present path let's say if the person has the power to change his lifestyle so that sign will not hold any kind of significance so let me reiterate you let me repeat the signs on the palm whether the negative or the positive hold significance as long as the present path is continued so let's say for example if an individual if a student who is appearing or like uh, preparing for the competitive exams and he is like putting his whole heart and soul into the competition and let's say at that particular point of the time a uh, some positive auspicious sign of meeting success has appeared on his palm that doesn't give him a license to be negligent or be become careless the, that sign holds value only till the time he will keep on continuing the hard work in the same pace rather with a you know a increased pace then only the sign will hold value and he'll meet the success as being seen in the form of that particular sign but let's say if he will discontinue his path he will just stop studying he'll just start taking interest in other getting distracted by other things then that sign will hold no significance that sign is not going to reap any good fruits into that person's life so we have discussed all of that now coming to the topic in question the last topic on the sun line so where we are going to discuss the branches so like the way i always say when it comes to decoding the lines the lines get judged on the basis of the four principles first First is origin of the line we have discussed that second is the termination of the line we have also discussed that in the last video third is presence of any special signs and symbols on that line which we are studying we have also discussed that and now we have reached the last part of the discussion on the sun line which is any branches from that particular line which we are studying so the first thing is when you'll find on the sun line presence of any small rising and falling branches so what do i mean by that so let's say for example this is your sun line and you have spotted these kind of small rising lines on the sun line so like the way i always say the principle remains valid in the um, uh, decoding and in the uh, scrutinization of all the lines the presence of small um, rising lines is always considered as a positive sign so this would just indicate 
see the thing is we are studying the sunlight what does sunlight represent sunlight tells about you know charisma enthusiasm sunlight tells about your positivity cheerfulness so and in any case these small rising branches from the line the upward rising branches in any case represent all those qualities only about the positivity cheerfulness you know optimism so no matter even if this guy would be going through some you know hardship or going through some obstacles so his attitude would remain to be very cheerful and you know kind of very happy go lucky kind even in the face of the trouble and we can also expect some good events at that particular point of time so you need to age the line and that particular point of time would remain to be of optimism and positivity next is if any point of time we'll find the falling branches from this sun line so let's say this is our sun line you'll find these kind of you know falling branches so this is not considered as a positive sign this would remain to be a uh, time of you know losses disappointment person feeling very suffocated so you need to age the line and at that point of time like all the remedies which we, i have advised you in the last video like the sun line is you know chiefly associated with the lord vishnu you need to pour water to the rising sun you need to recite the aditya hriday sutra and you know seek refuge in the worship of lord vishnu trust me all these signs will disappear this these signs are just as an indication for us for our self improvement so this is about the falling branches next in the series is if you'll find any kind of the branch going towards the mount of the jupiter so let's say this is our this is our uh, this is our sun line and you have spotted some branch going towards the mount of the jupiter so like the way this is the best kind of combination which you can uh, spot in someone's palm this would just indicate two qualities or you know uh, you know the kind of you know merge of two positive planets power so jupiter which represents you know leadership which represents ambition which represents righteousness spirituality and mount of sun which also indicates same kind of charisma extrovertness art and creativity uh, you know uh, charismatic personality so what would happen is a blend of all these two amounts and let's say along with that you will also find that these two um, the practical world like the way i have already explained you that the first flinch tells about the mental world second flinch tells about the practical world mental world tells about your intellectual pursuits the practical world tells about your money making abilities this is the physical world will tells about the sensory indulgences so what will happen is if with this kind of formation where the sun line is forking a branch on the mount of the jupiter you have also formed the practical world to be longer along with that the finger tips to be square you know finger tip is also very important why because finger tip you know our fingers in palmistry as seen as they represent the release of the energy and this tip is the point where this you know energy gets in touch with the universal energies you know like the way when it comes to checking some, what kind of leader a person would be a good jupiter can you know indicate leadership qualities person becoming a leader but what kind of leader that person would become be that person would become a autocratic or very dictator kind of leader or very you know uh, concern and you know kind of very humanitarian kind of leader so that would get determined by the tip of the uh, checking the tip of the uh, finger so because that just uh, represents how the energy is getting manifested so uh, uh, longer practical world and square finger tip square finger tip represents good money making abilities would heighten the chances of person you know um, succeeding in all his monetary pursuits so that is with the uh, sun line sending a branch to the mount of jupiter next is if you'll we'll find the uh, sun line throwing a branch on the mount of the saturn something like this so what this indicate you know the only thing which is going to happen is that the saturn is going to uh, kind of overpower the qualities of the sun so why what makes me say that because these two planets have got very contradictory very opposite qualities saturn is like hard working wise but also kind of very introvert and you know loner sun is also hard working is charismatic but it this is very you know spontaneous outgoing extrovert so what would happen is just because this line is throwing a branch on the amount of the saturn so saturn is going to influence the qualities of the a uh, line of sun in the form of you know discipline and a, putting a guard on this person's outgoingness so this is with this now next is when you'll find the uh, one of the branch from the sun line going towards the mount of the mercury so 
this is a very good combination for money making abilities because what does mount of mercury represent mount of mercury represents you know uh, you know like the way you know moon is your mind mercury is intelligence mercury needs to be in a very good state in order for someone to you know succeed in any kind of the communicative business any kind of the business you know where money making is uh, involved too much of you know intelligence is required so this is an ideal combination for someone to become a very good businessman this person will also have a creative flair in all of his you know business pursuits so you know even you know in today's day and age you need to be remain very innovative in terms of your offerings in terms of your product selling so these people would excel over there so this is also very good combination for business next is if you'll find the multiple branches so like the way i have already explained that let's say there on a long sun line you will have branches going simultaneously so we discuss the cases exclusively now the case is that rather than uh, a single and separate lines there are multiple lines going on towards different mounts so this would just remain to be a blend of all the positive qualities of the different mounts so this is also a very positive sign next is discussing the apollo and their risk taking abilities like the way i have been repeatedly saying this thing that the apollinians are very much vulnerable towards going over the top with their excessive of enthusiasm and your risk taking abilities so what would remain to be all those cases so you need to understand that you know that this is the arch type quality which we have discussed about the mount of the apollo and the sun line so what is going to happen is like the way i have already explained this thing in my last video that you know the presence of a single deep vertical line here on the mount of the sun is going to increase the qualities of the apollo the planet sun in someone's personality so what is going to happen is let's say the case would remain to be in this form that the mount of the sun is already in a very good state that's the first positive sign second is that the presence of single deep vertical line in the form of sun line present here would just going to increase the signification of sun to uh, the next level in a positive sense now next is along with these two things you will also find the uh, ring finger to be longer in someone's hand so let's say something like this something like this so you know when it comes to checking the you know the state of the uh, ring finger the length of the ring finger you know that gets always checked the length of the ring finger is always checked with the index finger so now as you can see here in this diagram that the ring finger is exceptionally longer it is rather close to the length of the middle finger so this would just indicate that that this person needs to Uh, remain on guard because this person would remain to be very risk taker in all aspect of his life so he would be like very adventurous he would be very risk taking so whether in the form of you know uh, investing and you know taking risk in the stock market whether taking risk in the gambling or casino or becoming a venture capitalist so this person would remain to be going always over the top when it comes to taking the risk taking abilities even i made a separate video on the gambling tendencies so this is the arch type sign for someone to have now we will just discuss what would remain to be the outcomes so let's say if as we had uh, discussing uh, discussing the risk taking abilities so checking the fruit of the risk which an individual is putting himself into so the condition of the sunline would play a very paramount role next is checking the condition of the headline because headline tells about your mental ability your ability to logically look at things so let's say along with that you will also find the headline to be curving two down on the mount of the moon so what is going to happen is that this is just going to make someone very intuitive so this person would not only remain to be very good risk taker but also this person would remain to be very intuitive enough to you know uh, beforehand get to know and study the you know the variation of the market variation on the stock exchange so all those qualities would remain to favor this person unless there are no other negative signs present on the mount of the moon so once again a long ring finger with headline curving two down something like this on the mount of the moon a presence of good sunline would just going to increase risk taking ability in someone's personality now what would remain to be uh, those cases where people would in pursuit of their too much of adventurism and risk taking become too negative and too shrewd so that would be seen if you'll find the fingers to be crooked so let's say mercury which i have already told you people is mercury represents you know intelligence and shrewdness so along with that you'll also find the ring finger and the uh, little finger to be a little bit bent or crooked so this is just going to make these people risk taker but in the form of becoming very shrewd for their own good so this is about the apollo 
and their risk taking nature ne last in the series is uh, discussing few of the case studies so you know i am going to take that topic separately where i am going to uh, teach you guys the nuances you know the uh, principles of how we do the analysis how we you know start from the scratch and how the analysis is done just a quick uh, overview of all of that so let's say if you have to check the business partnership if someone has come to you and the question that person has posed at that age that what would remain to be his prospects in getting into a partnership or getting into business partnership so for that the ideal combination which need to check this let's say for example this is a long sun line and you will find from the fate line a kind of you know line a connecting line joining the fate line so at that age if that person has come to you has spotted this kind of sign so then you can just uh, predict this person that this partnership if this person is thinking about getting into would remain to be very fruitful for him and let's say like the way i always say what is happening to the condition of the line post where this intersection has happened so let's say once this line this small connecting line which is touching the sun line the line is getting more deeper and more clearer so this would just indicate that the partnership would remain to be very fruitful next is let's say if you'll find this kind of line to be cutting it so once it has cut it so this is just going to manifest negative results so you can just fairly warn this person that this partnership is going to you know bring negative outcome negative results into your life and let's say aggravating the state where this line is cutting it along with that you have also spotted an an island kind of formation over here on this line so line is cutting it on the island formation or let's say on the presence of a dot so this would just going to aggravate the condition the person might even lose his you know self prestige reputation and this is just going to bring all kind of losses in this person's life next is uh, how do we check the family support uh, legacies and you know even the lawsuits with a relative on the sun line so for that let's say any point of time so this is our sun line this is our sun line any point of time you will find this is our mount of venus which is the domain of our family our brother sisters any point of time you will see some kind of influence line originating from the mount of the venus and running parallel to it so this would just indicate support of the family and let's say in terms of monetary terms as well and let's say you will find it touching the uh sun line so this would just indicate that even this person can expect some kind of legacy from his relative or from his family uh, family members and next is what how can we see the lawsuit with the relative so even you know in, in order to check that you need to check the condition of other lines as well so let's say this kind of influence line which is coming here this line is first of all is cutting some kind of upward rising line so there is one upward rising line on the lifeline so on the lifeline there is one upward rising line which always tells about some positive outcome of the events and this this influence line influence line which is originating from the mount of the venus is first cutting this you know upward rising line on the uh, lifeline and then it is joining uh, the sun line and let's say in the cases it is even cutting the fate line as well before reaching and touching the sun line so this would also indicate the same thing you know some kind of lawsuit with a relative and let's say if you will find this kind of line first cutting this upward rising line on the lifeline then cutting the fate line and then cutting the sun line as well so this would just indicate that the person is going to lose this lawsuit with his relative so this is how analysis is done last in the series is how can we check the marriage to an influential person or to an un unsuitable ma match so for that this is about union line do i always remain on guard and uh, speak this thing very carefully that i don't believe solely and you know individually this line tells about your marriage prospects when it comes to marriage pro prospect which is going to be a very major event we need to check it in conjunction with the condition of the heart line and the fate line so just only by looking at this line you can't just go on to the extent of predicting the state of someone's marriage so what will happen is if you were to check the condition of the marriage in order to see whether someone is going to marry an influential person or unsuitable match both the extreme cases so for that the criteria is which i have also found true in my own research that this is our sun line any point of time you will find this kind of the union line you know uh, line of affection line of union coming from here from the side and so long that it is touching the sun line so this is an ideal state when this person is going to marry someone who would be very influential very distinctive and very highly placed in the community 
might be even you know top designatory as well and along with that even the condition of the heart line is also very unaffected immaculate this line is reaching till the amount of the jupiter so this would just going to confirm the outcome of this kind of spouse in someone's life let's say you'll find this line to be cutting the sun line along with that you will also find the heart line to be curving on the mount of the jupiter so i have personally seen these kind of the you know situations where the person has married someone who was not only less qualified than the girl but also that person was also very much unsuitable on all the grounds on all the parameters education upbringing you know kind of designation or you know social standing so this would remain to be the case and let's say along with that you will find the fate line the line of saturn to be also being cut by the same kind of you know uh, union line or line of the affection so this is just going to make a toll in the girls or you know someone's career and you know even its uh, his you know wealth and social standing as well so this is how analysis is done i have just given you people a simple overview of the uh, analysis like how we look at things on different different lines so i hope i made myself very clear in this video for further more updates and notification on palmistry please subscribe my channel and like my facebook page thanks